the law applicable to contractual obligations. The Rome I Regulation 1. The 1980 Rome Convention and the Rome I Regulation The first steps to harmonize the rules on applicable law were taken with the negotiation and adoption of the Rome Convention on the law applicable to contractual obligations, which was concluded on June 19, 1980. The convention came into force on April 1, 1991, with ratification by eight member states. The convention was later replaced, except as regards Denmark, by the Rome I regulation, which covers the same subject. Therefore, the convention is still in force as regards the relationship between Denmark and the remaining EU member states. The convention provides harmonized rules on the subject, but these were subject to substantive differences on certain points due in particular to the fact that member states were able to enter reservations to certain provisions of the Convention. In order to ensure greater uniformity and legal certainty in this area, a regulation was adopted on June 17, 2008, and applied as from December 17, 2009. 2. The Scope of Rome I The regulation applies to contractual obligations in civil and commercial matters. Certain matters are excluded from scope, and these include, broadly speaking, all issues relating to family law and status of individuals, arbitration, company law, trusts and succession, and agency. The rules of the Rome I regulation apply exclusively to determine the law applicable in the matters covered by the regulation, even if the law thereby designated is not the law of a member state. 3. The Principle of Party Autonomy and its limitations. Article 3. The primary principle in the regulation, as in the Convention, is the party autonomy, which means that the parties to a contract may choose the law which governs the contract. The choice can be of the law applicable to the whole or part only of the contract. The party's choice may be made expressly and demonstrated clearly by the terms of the contract or the circumstances of the case. A previous choice once made can be amended by the parties. If all the elements of the contract apart from the choice of the law are located in a country other than that whose law is chosen, any provisions of the law of that country which cannot be derogated from by agreement can be applied. There are certain types of contract in respect of which the principle of party autonomy is limited and where there are special rules which in most cases limit the choice of law to the law of certain specific countries. These include contracts of carriage, insurance, and employment, and contracts in which one party is a consumer. Details for the rules for these contracts are given later in this chapter. 4. The law applicable where no choice has been made. Article 4. If the parties have not made an explicit choice of applicable law, the regulation provides rules as to which law will apply in the case of certain specific types of contract. The basic principle behind these rules is that the contract should be governed by the law of the country with which the contract has a close connection. For certain specific types of contract, these rules are as set out in the following table. For contracts which are not in these categories or which would be covered by more than one, the contract is governed by the law of the country of habitual residence of the party whose performance is characteristic of the contract. If a contract is more closely connected with a country other than one which would be indicated by these rules, then the law of that other country applies. Finally, if the law applicable cannot be determined by applying these rules, the law of the country with which it is most closely connected shall apply. 5. Special Rules and Protective Rules for the Weaker Party Articles 5 to 8 there are special rules which cover contracts of carriage of goods and passengers and contracts such as those involving consumers, holders of insurance policies, and employees under individual employment contracts. Contracts of Carriage, Article 5. For contracts of carriage, which often have standard terms and conditions, there is a general rule enabling the applicable law to be chosen but this is different between carriage of goods and carriage of passengers because of the need to respect certain international conventions. For carriage of goods, there is an unrestricted possibility to choose the law applicable under the general rules on party autonomy. If no choice is made, then the law applicable shall be either the law of the country of the habitual residence of the carrier 
where it coincides with that of the consigner. If not, it shall be the country where the place of delivery of the goods is situated. For contracts of carriage of passengers, the law which can be chosen is restricted to the law of the country where the passenger is habitually resident, the carrier is habitually resident, the carrier has a place of central administration, the place of departure is situated, or the place of destination is situated. If no law is chosen, the law of the country of the habitual residence of the passenger shall apply if that is either the place of departure or the place of arrival of the journey. If neither of these apply, it shall be the law of the country of the habitual residence of the carrier. Protection of the weaker party, consumers, Article 6. A contract between a consumer and a professional, as defined in Article 6, is governed by the law of the country where the consumer has their habitual residence if either the professional carries on business activities there or by any means directs such activities to that country. Any choice of law in a contract between such parties cannot have effect if it would deprive the consumer of protections which would be available if the applicable law was the one of the consumer's habitual residence. These rules do not apply in the case of certain contracts for services provided to the consumer other than in the consumer's country of habitual residence contracts of carriage other than package travel, contracts relating to immovable property other than timeshares and certain financial instruments. In the first, second, and fifth situations, there may be more freedom to choose the applicable law if the country concerned allows that. If no choice is made in these cases, the law applicable shall again be that of the member state where the risk is situated at the time the contract is concluded. There are certain extra rules where it is mandatory under the law of a member state to enter into insurance contracts and in order to determine the country where the risk is situated, in which case reference must be made in the case of contracts, other than for life insurance, to the Second Council Insurance Directive and for life insurance contracts to the EC Life Insurance Directive. Employment Contracts, Article 8. Employment contracts shall be governed by the law chosen by the parties and in the absence of a choice, by the law of the country in or from which the employee habitually carries out their work and performance of the contract, where the law cannot be determined in their way. For example, if the employee does not habitually carry out his work in any one country, the contract is governed by the law of the country in which the place of business through which they were engaged is situated. However, if, from the circumstances as a whole, it appears that the contract is more closely connected with another country, then the law of that country governs the contract. In the case of a choice of applicable law, an employee cannot be stripped of protections arising from mandatory labor law rules under the law which would, in the absence of a choice, have been applicable to the contract under the regulation. The law applicable will govern. Interpretation and performance of the contract. Consequences of breach, partial or total, and assessment of damages. Extinguishing of obligations through prescription and the limitation of actions, and the consequences of nullity. As regards the manner of performance and defective performance, the law of the country where the performance takes place shall apply. Other provisions as regards applicable law and contract. There are other significant provisions in the regulation dealing with certain specific issues in relation to the law applicable, including mandatory rules of the country where the contract is to be performed, which are to be given effect subject to consideration of their nature and effect, as well as the consequences of their application, notably in so far as they would render the contract illegal. These rules are such as to safeguard the interests of the country concerned and are regarded as crucial for this purpose. Other issues covered by special rules are those regarding the material and formal validity of a contract, questions of incapacity, assignation and subrogation, multiple liability, set-off, and the burden of proof. There are rules to indicate the place of habitual residence of legal persons and individuals acting in the course of a business to exclude the application of Renvoy as regards the rules of private international law of any country whose law is applicable under the regulation, to deal with the application of the regulation as regards states with more than one legal system, 
and the relations with other provisions in EU law and with the Rome Convention.